During the past few years, Adfield has proudly supported many pet crematoriums to launch into growth. We're here today at Rainbow Bridge in Great Yarmouth to meet the owners Mark and Jerry to discover the journey they took to get to where they are today and to find out how to run and to set up a successful pet crematorium. Well, welcome to Rainbow Bridge, Adfield. Uh, it's nice to have you here. My name is Jerry Cooler from Rainbow Bridge Pet Cremations Limited based in Great Yarmouth. What led you to start up your own pet crematorium? We, we set the business up basically because we had a bad experience um, a couple of years ago with one of our pets. It was a parrot named Billy, bless his cotton. He passed away, we took him um, to a, a different obviously cremation uh, facility. Wasn't impressed, didn't get the service that we'd expect as pet owners. Um, as we picked Billy up, we came out and the wife just happened to casually mention we could do better than that. Gave it a little bit of thought and here we are, two years on. Um, very proud of what we set up. Uh, it's, 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 it's gone far better than we ever thought it would. Um, we treat each customer as the first customer. Uh, we've got something like over 300 plus five star reviews, so obviously we're getting something right. Very proud of what we've set up. What were you doing before you started this business? Before we started this, I was in oil and gas, uh, working with some of the major oil and gas companies around the globe. Um, Worked there for about 35 years, just had enough of travelling. Just got totally fed up with it. Um, my heart wasn't in it anymore, so welcome to change. So you've now been self-employed for two years, would you say that was the right decision for you? Uh, initially when we set this up, I had some doubts, it was very quiet. Um, it took a little while to get off the ground, but now, yeah, two years on, not a single regret. Should have done it years ago, best move ever made. What were the first steps that you carried out to get started? The first steps we carried out were to find a premises. Uh, we wanted to remain local to Great Yarmouth. Um, there's no immediate facility like this around the area. Um, we looked for premises, found some premises, and then we looked at uh, the different types of machines that were available in the marketplace. Uh, our next step was then to look at a supply of caskets and urns. Um, once that was all established, we then started speaking with the different providers of uh, cremation machines. Um, the, the support we got from Adfield was, was fantastic. Um, you know, being a startup, money's tight. Um, the business was self-funded, so it was really tight. Adfield understood that um, and worked with us to achieve our goal. So how, was, how was your business at the start during the first few months? Uh, when we first started, it was to say very, very quiet. We did question ourselves whether we'd actually made the right investment. Um, we'd sat there a few weeks, nothing coming through the door, thinking, mm, have we done right here? Turns out we have. Um, the Adfield machine was basically cremating two or three a week. Um, now it's cremating six to ten a day. Um, the reason we now have two machines is that we operate one hot, one cold. It cuts down on waiting time for the clients. Our aim is to get all pets back within 48 hours. Um, and so far with the two machines we've achieved that. Obviously as we get busier, we're now looking at a third machine. You had a lot of options to get your business up and running at the start. Um, what was it about these machines that made you decide that they're the right ones for you? Okay, well, when you read the Adfield literature, it does say there's no smoke, there's no, no odors, and certainly that is true. Um, after speaking with others, yes, being a startup, they understood, but didn't work with as much as Adfield did. Um, they understood we was a startup, gave us the support we needed as, as a startup company, and worked through the initial setup problems with us. Um, for us, it was a good choice. The machine does what it says. The people at Adfield are great. They'll answer the phone two o'clock in the morning if you give them a call. I'll be very happy about it sometimes, but we get the support we need. So, well done, Adfield. So when we look around, we can see it's, it's a really beautiful site that you have here. Um, and you've got an Adfield Pet 200. In fact, you actually have two of them. So, can you share with me um, why you decided to, to choose Adfield to support you on this project? Well, given our location, um, which is in the middle of an industrial estate, it doesn't sound very glamorous, um, but it's where we are, and it works well for us. Um, we wanted a machine that was robust, worked well, performed as it said it would perform, and I can assure you the Pet 200 certainly does. There's no, no odours and there's no smoke, which is extremely important to us to keep our neighbours happy. 